Hey all, Hippo here. So uh, welcome to the channel and uh, don't forget to subscribe, right? So uh, this video here is going to be about Diablo Immortal because uh, this game is awesome. And uh, when it first came out, I played it for hundreds of hours and uh, I leveled a lot of characters and I spent a lot of time in that game. Now uh, to me, Diablo is something that has been following me since I was a young boy. I used to play Diablo 1. Diablo 2, Diablo 3, and of course, at the moment, I'm playing Diablo 4 as well. Alright, so uh, the question is if Diablo Immortal is still worth playing here in 2024, because the game came out nearly two years ago now, and uh, I'm suspecting a lot of people have already played it and probably put it on the back burner while they're playing other stuff. But uh, two years later, I still think that this game is one of the best uh, experiences you can possibly have on a mobile gaming platform. And uh, in this video here, I will tell you why. So uh, first of all, let's talk about what is so special about Diablo Immortal, because obviously there's a lot of games on mobile platforms, on Android and iPhone and iPad as well, and also Switch for that matter. Um, but Diablo Immortal, in my opinion, stands out among all games, uh, bar a few contenders, uh, as pretty much a triple A game uh, supplied on a mobile platform. And uh, of course, being a mobile game, that means that Diablo Immortal is free to play. Now, uh, that's very hard to compete with. And uh, like I said earlier, I do play Diablo 4 and uh, that game costs money. And every time I play it, I keep thinking I could play the same on Diablo Immortal and I could probably have more fun. Because uh, if you ask me, I actually think Diablo Immortal is just a notch better than uh, Diablo 4. And uh, that's quite a statement considering that Diablo Immortal is free and Diablo 4 is a full price AAA uh, console and PC game. So uh, Diablo Immortal lets you choose from uh, quite a long uh, array of characters and uh, even more than what's available in Diablo 4, which is quite impressive on its own right. And, uh, you know, the character customization is actually quite good. Uh, you can set up the faces, you can set up, you know, the colors and stuff like that. And of course, there's a ton of cosmetic stuff that you can purchase while you uh, play the game or not necessarily purchase. Also, you know, win as part of the uh, competitions in game. And uh, Diablo Immortal just seems to keep going uh, because I didn't play it for about six months and I logged in a few weeks ago and I had a look and, you know, everything is instantly familiar but there's also lots of new stuff and uh, Blizzard just keeps adding content to this game and uh, just in line with all other mobile games there's always something to do when you get back in you know there's always uh, some rewards to earn some monsters to kill or you know a uh, dungeon to explore so uh, you're never bored with this game here and uh, I even went out and purchased a uh, you know a controller for my phone but actually in you know Diablo Immortals defense I don't think you need a uh, a haptic controller for this game because uh, the way that the controls have been implemented using the touchscreen are just uh, probably the best in the business. Uh, I find it very easy to use and uh, I don't miss anything really. So uh, I enjoy games like action RPGs like Diablo because uh, they make you kind of combine action and strategy because uh, you know the gameplay itself is quite uh, action oriented and uh, quite tactical. Uh, but the character uh, creation process, first of all, and of course uh, the way you keep building and improving your character is a very strategic uh, endeavor and uh, I really enjoy that. Of course, this isn't the only game that has that aspect, but I think it is uh, it's very well implemented in Diablo and uh, it is one of the things that just you know keep me and probably a lot of other people uh, returning to this game or this series of games here like over and over. So, you know, you can have a great time playing Diablo Immortal on your own and uh, you can have a great time playing Immortal uh, just, you know, without paying a single dollar, should you want to. Uh, the single player aspect of the game, in my opinion, my humble opinion here, uh, is really free to play. And that means, just listen here, that means that you are getting what is basically the same content as Diablo 4, uh, except that it's free and uh, you can play it on your phone. And of course you can, you know, cast it to a TV if you want to get the console experience. Um, so the solo aspect of the game is more or less free to play. And uh, if you want to play with your friends, if you want to create a war band together or gang up on some monsters, you can totally do that. And as long as you're just like making the rules yourself in your little group, 
No one needs to spend any money at all on this game here. It's just fun and games all the time. Now, of course, if you venture into the more uh, competitive areas of Diablo Immortal, particularly like PvP, uh, then yes, you might be tempted at least to spend some dollars to uh, make your character competitive. But again, there's really no limit on how much or how little you have to spend. You can just spend what you think is appropriate uh, to get your character to the area that you want it to be. And, uh, you know, when the game came out, there was a lot of, uh, you know, kind of pushing for you to spend money. But these days, I don't think it's that bad. Um, Blizzard has kind of toned that down and, you know, that's a good thing. Now, of course, one of the most important parts of Diablo and any Diablo game really is uh, the approach to the end game content. And here again, I think Diablo Immortal has uh, the upper leg on Diablo 4 and pretty much any other Diablo game. I just think there's so much to do in Diablo Immortal compared to Diablo 4. Um, and uh, I think that is quite an achievement because again, like I've said a few times in this video here, this is a free game that anyone can download on their phone and play for as much as they want uh, without spending any money at all. And I will say that is quite an achievement. So uh, to kind of conclude this video here on Diablo Immortal, what I'm trying to convey is to uh, previous players and of course also to new players, you should get back into the game because there's a lot of new content out and uh, you know, giving up on those pretty sweet graphics, excellent controls and like the customization and the gameplay is hard to give up. I mean, uh, I've been away for six months, but that's only really because I've been playing Diablo 4. And uh, now I'm back to Immortal. And uh, to be honest, I'm enjoying it even more than I did when I first picked the game up. And I already enjoyed it a lot back then. And uh, there's support coming. There's updates planned. And, you know, the future is uh, bright for Diablo Immortal. I'm sure there's a very detailed roadmap ahead with lots of seasons, lots of content and uh, lots of customization to be added down the road. And uh, I, for one, am looking forward to it. So uh, really, I don't think there's a better time to uh, dive back in to Sanctuary or dive in if you haven't dived in before. And, uh, you know, with all the stuff that's on the horizon, uh, the adventure is far from over. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video here and I hope that I somehow got you to at least think about jumping back into Diablo Immortal and uh, giving it another whirl. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you out there. So uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, do visit the channel both on YouTube and uh, on Facebook and I also have a Discord. There's plenty of other videos to enjoy and lots of stuff going on in the comments and the community. So uh, there will be plenty of new comment coming, not just on Diablo Immortal, but also on a lot of other uh, phone and iPad games. So uh, I